For me, learning IFS has changed completely the way I do therapy, for the better. It really has, and I can't imagine my work without IFS now. Even if I'm not directly using or doing an IFS session, I'll still incorporate some of the elements and techniques from IFS in sort of standard counselling, I suppose. Um, it's changed the way I supervise other counsellors in my work, and it's also changed the way, um, it's changed me. It's changed me for the better. So um, I, I'm certainly encouraging everyone in my workplace to do it. Uh, yeah, and the feedback I've had from clients consistently when I do IFS with clients is this is the most powerful, most profound work I've ever done. I think sometimes there's such a push on give me strategies, give me um, you know a cognitive way of dealing with it or it's like, like working sometimes just at this head level and with this um, with this model it's you know how we talk about the bottom up and the top down it absolutely integrates both um, and you know for me it's like it changes people's lives and it, I know that sounds sort of corny and a bit evangelical but um, it's different to any other approach I think that I've ever worked with. I think IFS really helps both you as a therapist or if, even if you're, it's open to lay people as well, but anyone who does IFS really gets to know themselves to a, a whole new depth. And, and the thing that I perhaps get most excited about is that it also introduces you to an internal dialogue that can come from what we call a self, or it could be higher self, or you know, a central core that is able to watch the other parts, um, the other. You know, it's based on having a multiple multiplicity of selves, which I, which fits with my experience anyway. But it really gives that. Um, I've, I'm a meditation teacher, and it. It brought me to that place way faster than 20 years of meditation. So I get very excited about people having that experience of being able to find this awareness of this inner place that can observe and watch and stand back and listen and interact with all of these selves, which gives a, a permission for these selves to exist from a non-judgmental non place that uh, perhaps nothing else, not even meditation did for me. I work with people you know, from, who are Indigenous, who are from the local community, but then I work with a lot of people who aren't from the local community as well, who are fly-in, fly-out workers or who have just come into the community for employment reasons and I work with people from all sorts of areas of life, from kids to professionals to people who aren't working to mums, all sorts of different people. Yeah, and it's, IFS has worked right across the spectrum. I think. I think if somebody had seen me before and was looking at me now, they would see a different sense of groundedness and openness at the same time. So, and I think for me that's been the essence of IFS. It's given me this beautiful sense of being in my body, but in the world, in, in my place in the universe, but also this beautiful connection and closeness Learning a sort of a model, like the IFS model for me, has really allowed me a certain amount of um, freedom as a therapist, that I can, I can really trust what's going to happen in the process by not knowing what's going to happen, um, but really trusting that the process will give what the client needs in that, in that time, in that moment, whatever they've come for. And, um, that's given me an enormous sort of confidence about what I can offer in a way that I don't, I didn't ever feel that I could, kind, there was something missing and now I feel like that's something I found. IFS training is 
something that is really grounding just in and of itself for you as a therapist. Whether you use it with your clients or not, that's a choice, but it's an extraordinary tool for you as therapist. I personally think it's the way forward for clients, but I think it actually provides a structure for how we can be the best that we can be.